Hey everybody, Arnold Waffman here of Gear It First. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about exciting upgrades. One of the things that I think has made our company so successful is that from the wedding side, from the school side, and from the corporate side, we try to attract the same type of client. That's somebody that not only wants polished and professional, but wants a DJ that actually mixes, that can bring that club type vibe to their events. But not just the DJ, but also the tech staff as well. So whether it's the lighting guy, special effects, whoever is working there, they need to be able to bring the client's vision to mine, obviously, but still keep our branding intact. We want somebody when they go to an event to say, oh, that's a four schools only event, or that's a My Dream Reception event, or just in general, that's an eight premier entertainment event. So one of the, or one of the things that we do is we always try to offer something new every single year. Last year, our big upsell was Confetti Blast. Not the little ones, the big boy ones. <laughs> now, we've got a lot of CO2 tanks laying around, so it was a natural progression to look into CO2 cannons. And it's taken me a while to get into this. Yeah, I wanted to make sure, A, that it was something safe that I could do, that it's something that I could be able to sell and still turn a profit, and that it would be something my clients are into. The club cannon takes care of a lot of the concerns that I originally had between transportation, cost, and ease of use. And do my clients love it? They absolutely do. Let's talk about the club cannon. This is one of their standard handheld guns. They have a lot of stuff on their website. I'll kind of touch bases on what I saw and why I picked this. Stay tuned for another episode of Gear It First. So why did I choose this particular unit? Club Cannon has a lot of different options. And a couple of my other clients who own or operate restaurants and nightclubs, they've gone with a DMX model, and a couple of them also gone with a handheld gun. I've seen both. The DMX one's really cool, especially in a fixed installation. But I went with a handheld option for a couple of reasons. One, it's easier to troubleshoot, especially at a live event. It's easier to put together, and I think it gives an extra level of interaction between the entertainer or the DJ, the performer, whoever's actually the one doing the entertaining, and the audience. I think when you have the cannons, in my perspective, from up high, with, uh, done with the DMX, it creates a really cool effect. Something that you know most people cannot do with a gun because you can put them out high and have them hit the center of the dance floor. However, I really wanted to create that level of interaction that so few DJ companies around this area are able to achieve. And we've done that with a multiple set of options, but this is just another tool in the toolbox. A nice, cool tool in the toolbox. Let's open it up and see what all it has in it. When you order the Club Cannon, there's tons of different customization options and add-ons that you can get. And I got almost everything. Uh, except the custom logo. I'll explain that in a minute. First, the case, affordable. It's nothing ridiculously heavy, super easy to carry. Oh. On first glance, you can see this is really well packed. So let's go over some of the options. And I did get a few upgrades. The first upgrade is actually the hose itself. Now they have different sizes. There's an eight foot, uh, I think there's like a 16 and a 25. I got the 25, I wanted it to be as long as possible. And I also got the braided. For the small price that it, it costs to get the braided hose, get it. Not only is it going to last you longer, but I find it much easier to maneuver. I have the non-braided hose that I use for my confetti cannons. It's not as easy to wind up, and a couple of them already have kinks. Another option that I upgraded was the Easy Connect. So basically this connects in and out of the gun super easy no need to tighten it you still have to tighten this end and I kind of wish that they did offer some sort of upgrade where this could also be the easy connect and then have the other end that you can connect into the tank now, I think the reason they don't currently do that is because most tanks don't have an easy connect option or a quick disconnect like this one but I can't imagine somebody could have make a retrofit to, that you can use in multiple tanks so that's really my only complaint because it's much more important for me to be able to swap tanks quickly and on the fly. So I still really can't do that, but not the end of the world. Just get a bigger tank. And by the way, make sure you get a red top. What that means is it's basically a regular CO2 tank and it's got a hose because 
you want it to grab the liquid CO2 from the bottom. If you don't have a red top like I did at my last event and I emailed Club Can, I'm like, hey, I grabbed the wrong tank, what do I do? They gave me some advice, it worked great. So it was really cool they were actually able to answer emails and phone calls that quickly. So that's the Breda Hose upgrade that I got. The other thing that I got in here that was the other upgrade is the gun itself. Now on the barrel, you can remove the Club Cannon logo, which I did, and you can pay to have your logo put in. I didn't do that for two reasons. One, I wanna use this for weddings, I wanna use this for my school events, corporates. I really can't put the four schools only logo. Also the four schools only logo wouldn't really look quite right there. This also gives me an option in case I need to, you know, in case I wanna keep it clean for any reason. I'm gonna see maybe about doing a vinyl, a temporary vinyl wrap for events, but I don't know how cold that will get because this guy does get cold. You also have this handy dandy little handle right here. So it's easier to hold and you just go and you're good. You can see the quick disconnect in action just by pulling back. And then you push it in. Hold on a second, there we go. And there it is. And then to disconnect. So you pull back, locked in, disconnect. How easy is that? Notice that the handle has a safety. This is good because somebody will mess with it when you're not paying attention. Now on this side, we've got washers. Notice there's a missing washer there. That's because it's already attached to the hose. Washers are very important and they don't use the little flimsy rubber ones that break easily. These are like little plastic ones. And you also have a wrench. That's actually pretty dope. This is just simply an incredible value. You know, I, I spend, I think less than 550 shipped for this. Now, of course you still need a tank and you have to pay for the CO2. But if you find it locally, you know, and there's plenty of places, air gas is one of the popular ones. There's a welding shop right down the road from my warehouse and welding shops do provide. Make sure you ask for a red top liquid CO2 tank. You can use that also with your confetti cannon. So for us, we're gonna be able to interchange back and forth. So how much do you get out of each individual tank? Well, for the video that I did here, which by the way, let's take a look at that and see how awesome the club cannon really is. And you'll see how far this actually shoots. I gotta tell you, the thing that I was absolutely impressed with Club Cannon versus their competition is that it's almost got a silencer built in. CO2 is very, very loud. And that barrel has been specifically designed to get rid of a lot of that noise, to muffle it, dampen it. So it's not as loud as you would think it is. It does have still some volume coming out of it, which is fine because it adds to some of the excitement out of it, but it's not ear deafening. And out of that tank, that was only a 25 gallon tank and we did a couple quick bursts to make sure everything works. And I got about maybe 20, 30 seconds at full blast. I mean, all the way out uh, before it started, you know, fading out a little bit. So if you're getting a 50 gallon tank, which I heavily recommend getting a 50 gallon tank, you're probably gonna get about a minute's worth of blast. Now that may not sound like a lot, but trust me, in the middle of all the excitement and the action and depending how your night goes, 
absolutely. And then you can upgrade your clients. Hey, you know, we can do multiple blasts. It's gonna be this much per blast because you're gonna have to add tanks, whether it's 25 or 50 pound tanks. And that's the Club Cannon. So go over there, check out their website, see everything they have to offer. And more importantly, in the notes section, make sure you let them know that Arnaldo Offman of Gear at First sent you over. Any questions, comments, you know what to do. Leave a comment below. Do you already have one of the Club Cannon items? Tell me in the comments what you have and what you think of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to pound that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down. I don't really care. It's still interaction and that's what's important. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first, honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.